Hey, what's up guys? I'm Sal from Kronos Tech. So Android M is finally here and it's not really good that it still doesn't have the multi-window feature that we were all expecting. It's really not good, Google. Come on. Well, if you would like to still try the feature in the latest Android build, just follow this tutorial. First of all, to simplify everything, you need root for this. And if your device is not rooted, that's alright, I have you covered. So there will be a link to rooting your Nexus phone on Android Marshmallow in the information cards top right, annotation somewhere on the screen, and also in the description just in case you don't find it anywhere. Just follow the video and you'll have your phone rooted without breaking a sweat. Now, all that aside, all you need to do is download build.prop editor by jrummy from Play Store. It's the only thing that you need to change anything in your build.prop. I'm just gonna install it. Now, you need to give it root access. So yeah, talking about access, I think the permissions feature in Marshmallow is pretty great. What do you think? Tell me your opinion in the comment section below and uh, yeah, after all, privacy does matter, right? I think so. So you can see a couple of attributes written all over. Now press this pencil button right here to start editing. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and uh, just add this line persist.sys.debug.multi underscore window equals to true. Write it in this exact way or you can also copy it from the description and paste it directly. And once done, just hit the save button. That's right. Now it's saved. Yeah, right. And uh, I'm just gonna go back. Let's check it once again if it's still there. Uh, yeah, it's there. I'm just gonna go back now and power off my phone. Basically, I need to reboot my phone. So yeah, I'm gonna power off and power on my phone. Uh, that just went by. Okay, so I'm just gonna open Solid Explorer. Basically, I'm just uh, gonna open a couple of apps and uh, Twitter. And uh, I guess Chrome. And it has to be one more thing. WhatsApp, that's right. So yeah, now I have a couple of apps. Let's just open Recent. You can see there's this frame option on top of every single apps tab. And what it does is it helps you select a layout that you want. You can either select keeping up to the top or the bottom. I'm just gonna select the bottom one for Twitter. And as you can see, the Twitter is now on the bottom and it has Solid Explorer on top. I didn't really, you know, I did not do that. That's the only problem it has right now. And maybe this is the only reason why it was not pushed in the final update. It's still a beta and it's not as effective. Let me just open Play Store in the bottom one. Or maybe top, yeah, top. Uh, you can see Play Store opened in the top and there's Root Checker Basic on the bottom. I never opened Root Checker. It's okay. Let's try something more. Uh, maybe I'll try opening Twitter in the bottom section. So yeah, Twitter is on the bottom now and WhatsApp is on the top. I never selected WhatsApp. That's okay, at least the flow is smooth. I, I like it. I mean, uh, okay, it might still be buggy and all that stuff, but at least everything works great. It's just smooth and there's no lag whatsoever. Now, let's see a couple more apps. Play Store on the bottom. And the search function is great. So when you use the search functions, it basically extends to the top, taking up the full screen. And uh, you can also keep, see the keyboard on the bottom, that's right. It also works in the landscape mode pretty good. In fact, I think this is most effective in landscape mode. And especially if you have like a big phone like a Nexus 6 or maybe 6P. I have placed it on the right, a root checker basic on the left. And it works great. Maybe try opening some more apps. Uh, I'll just go for, I guess, WhatsApp. It is right here, yeah. So what's up on the right and Chrome on the left, but Chrome still has this overlapping. I don't know why. Maybe they need to sort it out. So overall, this feature is pretty good. I mean, uh, it's fine. There's not much you can do with it right now, but if you want to test it out, this is what you can do. And yeah, once you're done playing with it, all you need to do to revert back is just hit back to the app uh, that you downloaded, build.prop.editor, and remove the last line that you edited and save it and that's about all guys thanks for watching the video if you liked it then don't forget to hit the like button and if you disliked it yeah go the thumbs down way share comment and subscribe to my channel to be updated about every single video that i make as soon as i make them and uh, thanks for watching again this is chronostech signing off